الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن التبعم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد to proceed to continue our explanation of الأجرومية and the next statement is اقرأ يا محمد وللجزم وللجزم على متاني و للجزم على متاني السكون 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 وللجزم على متاني السكون و الهذف و الهذف therefore وللجزم what does وللجزم mean the school right the state of الجزم Alamatani has two indicators. We know that Alamatani is Al Muthan of Alamatun. Al Sukunu, which as we know is the indicator of Al Jazm, which is Al Asl, the foundation. Wal Hadfu, what does Al Hadfu mean? The Kasra. The Majrun is there. No, that's Al Jar. That's Al Kasra, isn't it? Walhadfu means erasing. erasing, right? The removal. Therefore, liljazmi for that state, there are two indicators: as sukunu walhadfu, right? The the first and the primary <coughs> one is as sukunu, and the secondary one is alhadfu. Erasing. Right. Iqra al jumlata al taliyata ya Muhammadu. فأما السكون فأما السكون فيكون فيكون علامة علامة للجزم للجزم في 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 الآخر الآخر وأما السكون as for السكون right which is the first indicator فيكون then it is علامة an indicator للجزم في الفعل المضارع الصحيح الآخر. What does this mean? في الفعل المضارع we know is the present tense verb. الصحيح means authentic. Correct. Yeah, it does mean authentic in one context, but it means the correct الآخر the ending. The sound ending. Right, what does that mean? It means that there are two types of al fitlu al mudari'u. There's two types. There's one which is what we call as sahihu al akhir, where the ending is sound, and the other one is al mutallu al akhir. Where it is al-mutallu, which means that it ends with one of three letters. 
Al alifu wal ya'u wal waw'u. If, for example, a fi'lun, so how do we say he is writing? He is writing present tense. Yak. Yak. Yak to bu. Does yak to bu end with a letter from al alifu or al waw'u or al ya'u? No. No. Therefore, we say that this is from al fi'l al mudari. Mudari. Al Sahih Al Akhir. Right? Because here Yaktubu does not end with a letter from Al Alifu Wal Wawu Wal Ya'u, we say that the ending is correct <laughs> and therefore it falls into this category. Fil fi'li al mudari as sahihi al akhiri. Right? So, for example, Yaksha. Yach. And we're going to explain all of these. Yaksha. Yaksha means he is afraid with the knowledge, as opposed to Yachafu. Rather, Yachafu is somebody who's just afraid. Yaksha means he is afraid with. Al il knowledge, as in the ayah, in ma yaksha Allah min ibadihi al ulama. Right? So yaksha, does that end with al alifu or al yau or al wau? It ends with al alifu. That is considered to be al alifu. Right? It's a set, it's written with al yau. <coughs> Okay? And we're going to mention the other examples. But the point to note is that here, yaktubu, yadribu, yajlisu, and so on and so forth. Any al fi'lu al mudari'u that does not end with al alifu or al wa'u or al ya'u, then it's considered to be this category. Right? Al fi'lu al mudari'u as sahihu al akhir. Hassan, what did he say therefore? Rahimahullah, amma sakunu fatakunu alamatan lil jazmi. So the sakun is therefore an indicator of the al jazm fil fi'li al mudari'i al sahihi al akhiri. An example therefore, if we want to say the boy wrote the letter. How do we say that here, yeah, Muhammad? Kataba. Al Waladu. Al Waladu. Right. Risala ten. Kataba al Waladu Risala ten. We know that Kataba is. Fetlun Madin Mabiniyun al al he, al waladu is fa'ilun marfu'un wa alamatu raf'ihi ad-dammatu al-zahiratu ala akhirihi and risalatan is mafulun bihi mansubun Nasbin Wa alamatu nasbihi Al fathatu al zahiratu al akhirihi Right? Now that is our sentence The boy wrote a letter But now we want to change it To say The boy didn't write a letter The boy didn't So we need to negate it Ada, right. Lan. Uh, Lan is he will not remember. That's for the future. Oh, lam. Lam. So we're going to negate it with lam. Right. We're not going to say lam kataba because the lam doesn't enter upon 
fi'l wal madi. It enters upon al mudari. So what do we therefore place here? Yaktab. Lam. Yak. Right, and the rest remains the same, doesn't it? Al waladu risala ten. Hassan. Now, lam is harfu nafin wa jazmin. Harfu jazmin. We've mentioned this example to illustrate this point. We've mentioned this example to illustrate the point that the author, rahimahullah, mentioned. فَأَمَّا السَّكُونُ فَيَكُونُ عَلَامَةً لِلْجَزْمِ Right? Therefore, here we must have a sukun, not al fatatu which is what you said initially. لَمْ يَكْتُبْ لَمْ يَكْتُبْ الْوَلَدُ رِسَالَةً Right? Now, because we have two sukuns here, right, that would become a kasra in order to avoid iltika'u asakinaini. So that would become lam yaktu bil walad. Right? So, so it's grammatically correct and orthographically correct too, we're going to remove that part. And we're just going to say lam yaktu. So here now, lam, let's do the Arab. Lam is? Harfu nafi. Harfu nafi wa? Wa jazmi. So it does both roles, doesn't it? It negates and also makes it jazmi. Right. It renders the fitlun that follows it majzumun, which is what it is here, isn't it? Lam yaktub. Right. So yaktub is? Is a fitlun mudari. Fitlun mudari'un. No, it's not mabniyun, is it, Ya Muhammad? It's majzumun. Atom of means fixed upon the. Yeah, but, but not not in this instance. Okay. Here we say it is. It is just because of. It is fitlun mudariun. Remember, mudariun is not mabniyun. It's al madi, which is mabniyun. So we say lam yaktub. Yaktub is fitlun mudariun madzumun. It's madzumun. وَعَلَامَةُ جَزْمِهِ No, remember, alamatu jazmihi means the indicator of it being madzum, and then you've got to say what it is. alamatu jazmihi Lam? Lam? No, as-sakoonu, which is what it is here. فَأَمَّا السَّكُونُ Right? فَيَكُونُ عَلَامَةً لِلْجَزْمِ the sukoon is alamatan lil jazmi. Right? Another example. If we want to say he did not eat, how do we say it? <coughs> he did not eat. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll to remove this too. Right. He is eating is. Um, he is eating. Yeah, kulu. Cool. Yeah. Cool. He did not eat. Therefore, is. Lam. Lam. Yeah. Lam yeah kul. Right. Lam yeah kul. That therefore becomes a sukun. Lam yeah kul. Lam therefore is. Uh, Harfu uh, nafiin wa jazmin. Right? Yakul is 
Fitlun Mudari. Fitlun Mudari un Majzumun. Wa alamatu. Jesmihi. Asakunu. Hassanan. Right? We know this. This isn't particularly complicated. You just have to remember the specific i'rab. So, how do we say he is drinking? Yes. 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 Arabu. Right? Yes. Arabu. Is he is drinking? <laughs> if you want to say he. Did not drink. Negate it. In the past we say Lam Lam Yesh Rab Lam Yesh Rab. And if we to perform the Arab one of this we say Lam is Harfu Nafin Wa Jasmin Yesh Rab is Fitlun Mudari Mudari Jazmun Majzumun Wa alamatu Jazmi As-Sukunu Right Wa alamatu Jazmihi As-Sukunu Which is what it is here Hassanan And that's all that needs to be mentioned here with regards to this statement Literally The As-Sakunu is alamatan lil-jazm, the indicator of the state of al-jazm, where it's fil-fitli al-mudari'i as-sahihi al-akhiri'i, where the last letter of the fitlun is not al-alifu or al-ya'u or al-waw, which is what all these examples were. Hassan, Tara ya Muhammad al Jumlat al Taliya. Wa amma al Hadfu. Wa amma al Hadfu. Al Hadfu. Fayakunu alamatan. Fa ya kunu alamatan. Lil Jazmi Lil Jazmi Fi 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 Al Fi Al Mu Tali Al Mu Tali Al Akhiri Al Akhiri Khiri Wafi Wa Fi Al Afali Al F Ali Al Nati Alati Rathuha Rathuha Bi Thabati Nuni Bi Thabati Nuni Anuni Hassana Wa Amma Al Hadfu so now this is the second indicator, isn't it? Because we've already discussed at sakunu that the second alamatun min alamati uh, indicators is al hadfu, the erase, uh, erasure, the removal. Fayakunu alamatun. Then it will be an indicator lil jazmi. For the jazm state, fil fitli al mudari al mutalli al akhiri, where now it is of that second category, where the ending is one of those three letters. Wa and fil afali alati rafuha 
B Sabati Noon and in the Al Afalu in the verb forms or conjugations Alati which Rafuha Yes, where the raf uha, its marfu'un state, bithabati noon, is by affirming the noon, which we've already discussed in our previous lesson regarding <coughs> al fa'alu al khamsatu, but we will quickly mention it again. Right, as for the first one, wa amma al hadfu fa yakun alamatan lil jazmi fil fi'li al mudari'i al mu'talli al akhiri. Right, so. We mentioned that example, didn't we? Yaksha. Yaksha. This is what type of word? It's a fitlun mudari. Right. It's fitlun mudari un. Fitlun mudari un. The ending, is it? As sahihu al akhiru. Does it have a correct ending? Or Al Mu'tallu Al Akhir? It's Al Mu'tallu, isn't it? Right? And what is the illatun? What's the what what what's the deficiency or the weakness? The fact that it ends with Al Alifu. Right? As we mentioned, even though the letter that is a ya, it's pronounced Al Alif. Yaksha, Yaksha, right? And similarly, in addition to that, we have a number of other that we could mention to illustrate. Yes, uh, it's not a very good ain, so we'll rewrite it. Yes, uh, what does yes, uh, mean? Isn't it waiting? Sometimes? Yes, uh, from sa'a. Uh, to, to make an effort, right? Uh, and similarly, we have. Ja'a. Ja'a. Ja'a, you know, he came. No, no. That Ja'a. Yeah, Ja'a, but that's a Hamza on the end. Oh, it's a Hamza. Right? Uh, what does Yarada mean? Yarada. From Radia, he was pleased or content. Right? And there are a number of others. The other common one is Yabqa. What does Yabqa mean? We did this in An Nasiku Al Qittu. Yabqa. Yes, he remained. Right? So, what do we notice about all of these? Verbs or al afal they all end with al alifu. Is it called alifu? No. So therefore, therefore they are from what we call al mutallu. And what's al illatu? What's the the reason for the weakness? Al alifu. Don't confuse al alifu with al hamzatu. Right. The two are different letters. Al Alifu doesn't accommodate or take a harakatun, does it? It doesn't. Whereas Al Hamzatu does. And that's the difference between them. Right? So, therefore, if we were to take one of these examples, Yabqa. He remains. Okay? So if we want to say, for example, he didn't remain. <coughs> okay? In fact, before we do that, before we do that, uh, let's do the i'rab of yabqa. What is yabqa? It's fi'lun mudari'un. Now, is it marfu'un, mansubun, or majzumun? 
it uh, if I remember correctly there's a an erased fatah on the... An erased fatah. Ya Muhammad, remember all af'alu uh, al-muda'a, af'alu al-mudari'a, all of them, they are marfu'un. Okay. Right? So, yabqa is fi'lun, mudari'un, marfu'un. Right? Fi'lun, mudari'un, marfu'un. Now, so what do we say? Alamatu rafihi. Alamatu rafihi is what? Al-alifu. Where's al-alifu? Al-alifu here isn't the indicator for being marfu'un, is it? Alamatu. If we let's take another example. Let's take yaktubu. This will make it clearer. Yaktubu is fi'lun mudari'un marfu'un wa alamatu raf'ihi ad-dammatu al-zahiratu ala akhirihi Therefore on yabqa yabqa is fi'lun mudari'un marfu'un wa alamatu raf'ihi ad-dammatu are you going to say it's a zahiratu? No, we're not going to say it because I can't see it. So what is it? What is it? It is not a zahiratu. It is therefore al muqaddaratu. Right? Ya Rahmatullah. So Yabqa fi'lun mudari'un marfu'un wa alamatu raf'ihi ad-dammatu ad-zahiratu sorry not ad-zahiratu al-muqaddaratu ala akhirihi right clear so if we now introduce lam lam what do we say? Lam Lam Right We said no no But what do we do? Remember وَأَمَّا الْحَذْفُ فَيَكُونُ وَلَامَةٍ لِلْجَزْمِ فِي الْفِعْلِ الْمُضَارِئِ الْمُؤْتَلِّ الْآخِرِ حَذْف We raise it don't we? And it becomes Lam Let me rewrite that Lam Yabqa Doesn't it? We follow Like that Lam Yabqa Right? So, if we're now to perform Al Iraq would say Lam is harfu Nafiin wa Jasmin. Yabqa is Fitlun Mudari. Right, think carefully. It's Fitlun Mudari un Mudali. Would you say that though? No, Fitlun Mudari un right. What state is it in? Jasmin. Majzumun. Wa Alama to Jasmihi. Hadfu. Hadfu. Alifu. Al Alifu. Well, it would be Hadfu al Alifi, wouldn't it? Because that's an idafa. But you're right. That's good. So, Yabqa is Fitlun Mudari'un. It is Madzum. Wa alama tu jasmihi. Hadfu al Alifi. Hadfu al Alifi. Because we've removed it. Right? So if we take another example therefore Yarda Okay Yarda is He's pleased He is pleased The Arabun is Fitlun Mudari Fitlun Mudari Mudari'un Rafin, Marfu'un, Wa Alamatu 
رفن وعلامة رفئه قدرة الضمة المقدرة على آخره If we now place lam before it what happens? We take off the we take off the alif and it becomes lam yarda lam yarda like that lam yarda right now yarda is it is fi'lun mudari'un majzumun wa alamatu jazmihi hazfu Alifi. Hadful Alifi. Good. Okay. And the grammar has also mentioned that the delil for that is al fathatu here. Right? There's al fathatu. So that is how we recognize the indicator of al jazmi where it is a fitlun mudari'un. But the ending of that fitlun mudari'un is al alifu. Right, what's the next type of al illatu? Weakness, which represents al fitlu al mudari al mutallu al akhir. Is it the one that ends with al No, it's the one that ends with al waw. Right? Therefore, if we take the example of da'a, which means he supplicated. The present tense, al-mudari'u, of da'a is? Yad. Yad. Yad'u. Right? Why did we mention the example of yad'u? Because it ends with the well. Because it ends with al-waw'u and al-waw'u is one of the three letters which if present render the uh, al-fi'lu al-mu'tallu al-akhir Right? So, in order to understand this therefore we say that yad'u is fi'lun mudari'un Marfu'un wa alamatu raf'ihi Ad-dammatu Al-muqaddaratu ala akhirihi If we now place lam before it What happens? We erase the wall We erase al-waw'u And it becomes Lam yad'u Lam yad'u so we said that lam is harfu, nafin wa jazmin, yad'u is? Fi'lun mudari'un. Majzumun. Wa alamatuhu. Wa alamatu. As-sukunu. Now the indicator for wa alamatu jazmihi. Wa alamatu jazmihi is hadfu alif wa wawi. Right. Hadfu al wawi. Right. That's what we've done, haven't we? We've removed al waw. So hadful waw is the indicator of it being madzumun. Right? What does yaruju mean? Like the ayah, man kana yaruju liqa'a rabbihi at the end of Surah Al Kahf. Yaruju. Raja from Raja. He's coming. No, he hopes from Raja having hope. Yarju. Again, this is fi'lun mudari'un. Marfu'un. Marfu'un. Okay, alamatu raf'ihi ad-dammatu al-muqaddaratu wa la akhirihi. If we place lam before it, what happens? We erase the waw. We erase al-waw and it becomes Lam Yaraju Like that Okay And again Yaraju uh, Therefore it's Fi'lun Madari'un Madzumun Wa Alamatu Jazmihi 
Al-Hadf wa Al-Wawi, good. Right, and there are numerous other examples of that type of a verb. Is that clear? <coughs> so which one remains there for? al <laughs> yao Where the uh, last letter in al mudariu in the present tense verb is al ya For example, how do we say he gives? Yes. Right, the, the past is at ta So how do we say he is giving? Yes. You ti you ti Okay So here if we now place lam before it in order to give the meaning of he will not give he didn't, oh, he didn't. remember it's the past lam yuti he didn't give what happens? We erase the uh, ya. We erase al ya. And it becomes lam yu'ti. The indicator being, of course, al kasr. Now, lam yu'ti, uh, when I said the indicator being kasr, the, uh, that's like a dalil and an evidence that you've dropped. The last letter. So yuti is fi'lun, mudari'un, madzumun, wa? Alamatu jazmi hadfu hadfi yai. Al yai. Right, good. So it's fi'lun, mudari'un, it's a madzumun, wa alamatu jazmihi hadfu al yai. Okay. Similarly, hada. What does hada mean? Hada. Okay, guidance. Right, he guided. Okay. So, what's the present tense of hada? Yahdi. Yahdi. Yeah. D. <coughs> Yahdi means he guided. Okay. Like the ayah in the Hadha al Qur'an, Yahdi lilatihi aqwam. This Qur'an guides to that which is most correct. So, Yahdi is he guided. Therefore, if we now place lam before it, like that, what happens? We drop the ya. Uh, we drop al ya'u and it becomes lam yahdi, like that. Lam. Yahdi and Yahdi therefore is Fitlun Mudariun Jazmi Fitlun Mudariun Madzumun Walamatu Jazmi Walamatu Jazmihi Hadfu Yai Good Hadfu Al Yai Right and of course there are numerous other examples but the point to note is all of these three Al alifu wal wawu wal yau, if present at the end of al fi'lu, that is the al illatu, the reason of its weakness, and therefore it is removed when? When what? When you want to show the madzum state. Right, when you want to show al jazmu present in that particular word. Right? Is that clear? Hassanan. The second part of this, which we've already discussed previously, is وَفِي الْأَفْعَالِ And in الْأَفْعَالِ the verbs الَّتِي which رَفْعُهَا It's مَرْفُوءٌ state بِثَبَاتِ النُونِ So, what are we talking about here? Talking about the present tense for you, female. Right, but in order. Uh, Which one is the first one, yeah, Muhammad? Plural male. Dual male. Dual male. Right. Them two are writing. How do we say that? 
Yaktubani. Yaktubani. Right. Yaktubani. And you two are writing. Right. Tak tu bani. Right. These are two. So here. Alati raf uha bi thabati nuni. Bi thabati nun. So we have a noon on the end of each one, which means yaktubani and taktubani are in which state? Marfu'un. They're marfu'un, aren't they? And that's what we say. Fi'lun, mudari'un, marfu'un, wa alamatu raf'ihi. Alifu. Oh no, so that's in the noun, noon. Thabatun nuni. Wa alamatu raf'ihi. Sabatun nuni. Right? Affirming the noon. That's the indicator for it being marfu'un. The alif in this instance is what? It's just the duality. It's the fa'ilun. Oh. Remember? The al alifu is the fa'ilun. Right? Al alifu in each instance. So, those are the first two. The next two are? Yaktubuna. Uh, right. Yaktubuna. And Taktubuna. Again, we say Yaktubuna and Taktubuna. So that is Fitlun. Mudari'un, marfu'un, wa alamatu raf'ihi. Sorry? Thabatun nuni. That's the indicator of it being marfu'un, isn't it? Thabatun nuni. Right? And then the fa and so where is the fa'ilun? Al wa'u. Then the last one, which is the first one that you mentioned, is. It's Taktubina. Right. Tak to Bina. which means you female are right and you singular female. And again, we say that this is Fetlun Modari un Marfu un wa alama tu raf ihi sabatun nuni and al yawiz al fa ilu. Right? Now, of course, when we say that al alif and al wawu and al ya is al fa'ilu, do we say it is what? That al dhamma tu, al dahira tu, ala akhirihi? No. Do we say it's al muqaddara tu? No. What do we say then? It's a Assumed to be in the position. Good, ya Muhammad. We say fi mahalli raf en fa'ilun. Right? Al alifu is fi mahalli raf in fa'ilun. Similarly, al wawu and al ya'u. Right. But all of these don't illustrate this principle, do they? Yet. Why? Because we haven't negated them in order for the noon to disappear in order for it to be an example of where al hadfu is the indicator for being madzum. So what do we place before all of these? Lam. So yaktubani becomes Lam yaktubani, Lam taktubani, Lam yaktubuna, Lam taktubuna, and Lam taktubina. Right, is that now correct? No. no, because we need to. We have to remove the noon in all of these instances. Like this. Right. And then Alif goes there in its place. Now it's correct. So we say, for example, Lam is harfu nafin wa jazmin 
أن يكتب is فعل فعل مضارع جزم مجزوم وعلامة جزم حذف النون good وعلامة جزمه حذف النون and similarly it's the same for all of these isn't it regardless because they are from alif alu al khamsatu and we've already discussed that previously so there's no need to say anything beyond this assuming that that's clear um, what happens with the female plural again Wh which female plural the female uh Plural, so, so here, Yaktubana, you mean? Yeah. Right. So, Yak Tub Yak Tubna. So, what happens when you place a lamb before it? Nothing. Okay, nothing happens. And nothing happens before it. So, you still pronounce it the same? It's still pronounced the same, Yaktubana. But. So, that's, that's Mahali. Yes, it's fi mahalli jazmin. Right? Fi mahalli jazmin. Obviously, it can't be a dhahiratu. Yeah. And it can't be al muqaddaratu. So we say fi mahalli jazmin. Right? It's prevented from uh, having a sukoon. Or rather, it's prevented from removing the noon because it's that type of uh, conjugation, the female plural third person. Oh. One more question. <coughs> and of course, you see, the other point would be is yaktubu. If you said yak. Tubu, right? What does yaktubu mean? He's writing. He's writing. If you now say lam yaktubu, what do we do? We remove the dhamma. Yaktub. If you're now going to drop that there, the noon, mm -hmm. as you do for the others, have you noticed? Yeah. It's the same, isn't it? And that cannot be the case. And the tuck to. Tuck yeah, that's the same too. Yes. Okay, yeah. uh, the other question I had was, you know, at the start, when well, in the previous lessons we said that the file file never goes into the um, roughing state. The. Right. The fitlun. <laughs> the fitlun. The fitlun. The fitlun. Um, the verb never goes into a majrulun state. Yes. So um, you know, the, at the start you gave the example of uh, where we wrote to kasra. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not a so that's, Yeah, that's, that's not considered to be in the um, majrulun state. So it's considered to be. Yeah, that's only for the purpose of writing and pronunciation. Okay. But it's considered to be in the majumum state. Yes. Even it's got a yes. Okay. I just want to clarify that. Yes, it's still considered to be majumum because al fitlu al mudariu can never be anything other than marfuun, mansubun, or majumum. Remember? Clear. Alhamdulillah, we'll conclude. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.